Good afternoon. On Thursday the 9th of December, I don't know about you, but I think I've just about managed to dry out after yesterday. Our opening prayer. Loving Lord, we are aware of our human shortcomings. We ask that by your Holy Spirit, you give us strength to work for that which is good through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And our readings are from Isaiah chapter 41, verses 13 to 20, and Psalm 145, verses 8 to 13. One of the ways in which people show that they trust someone else is by allowing them to hold their hand. And this applies to all age groups, starting with a child who is uncertain about something, so they seek out the assurance of holding a parent's hand. And in the primary schools, there's a lovely photograph of this to highlight the quality of trust. Then over the years, I've seen many walkers on tricky mountain ridges seek the security of a holding and balancing hand from a fellow hiker. Then as people get a little bit more unsteady on their feet, as age catches up with them, the elderly appreciate the safety given by a helping hand. In today's reading, we hear God's promise to his people that he's there to give them a helping hand. And there are parallels with the examples I've used as to when we, as humans, see a helping hand. From God, there is that assurance that even in the most difficult of situations, he's able to do something about it. And this isn't just a temporary fix. God can help us way beyond our expectations. And God reminds us that he's always looking out for her, us. He has our back at all times. And this gives us a real feeling of security because we have the peace that comes with knowing that God is keeping us safe, that he is with us and he is looking out for us. As we're coming to our prayers, once again, we have been reminded of the importance of being aware of the needs of others, something which that brief reflection picked up on with the helping hand. And our first prayer is for others. Dear Lord, we give you thanks for all those people who have the courage to look beyond themselves and to think of others. People who willingly give a helping hand in so many different ways. Often they help strangers, people who they'll never come across again. And we ask that you help us to continue to follow your example of showing concern and meeting the needs of others as we give ourselves to you. Amen. For today's prayer points, let's pray that we can trust all who are in positions of authority. Let's pray that the measures that have been put in place to stem the spread of COVID-19 do work as hoped. <coughs> and let's pray for all who are feeling rather strained at present. The Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your 
kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. And our blessing for today. The Lord comes to you this day in great power. He comes to heal and to restore and to forgive as he comes to you. And the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son and Holy Spirit be with you and your loved ones for the rest of today and forevermore. Amen.